Look, there is no reason. Well. Okay. I'm surprised to hear that because you're such a powerful man. All the girls say so. Have you been zapped of your power by the lovemaking? She's. I don't. Your teeth are the best friends you got, CJ. They are? You take care of them, they'll take care of you. Why don't you start talking like this? I'm nuts for dental hygiene. Communists look exactly like non communists. Andrew Jackson. In the middle. Now! Jesus! Damn. What? You know what I forgot to do today? What? I forgot to feel the president's glands. Death is bad. Josh, Toby, on my girlfriend's life, your troubles end 98 miles right down that track. Thank you for your concern, Josh Lemon Lemon. <laughs> Dear jackass. Or maybe it says that even with the president's supporters accidentally voting for the wrong candidate, you're still gonna get creamed, you little fascist! This is an honor thing! What, Mr. President? You know you told me not to wake you up unless the building was on fire. Hi, Senator. Why don't you take your legislative agenda and shove it up your ass? <laughs> Turns out I was fine. I'm assigning an intern from the press office to that website. They're going to check it every night before they go home. If they discover you've been there, I'm going to shove a motherboard so far up your ass. What? Well, technically, I outrank you. So far up your ass! Can I stop talking to you now? What are you doing? I'm standing with my back straight against the wall. Why? I was told by doctors it would relax me. Josh? Gotta go. Yeah. So I headed up to the hill. Wearing, by the way, the new shoes you bought me, which I'd never worn before. About a week ago, I accidentally slept with a prostitute. Really? Stop it. You are gonna hurt your beak. Five White House staffers in the room. I would like to say to the 1.6 of you who are stoned right now that it's time to share. <laughs> Could you? Possibly get us some dried leaves? Yeah, I'll just run out to the forest and be right back. Uh, you have an inadvertent habit of putting down my Judaism by implying that you have a sharper anti-Semitism meter than I do. Hallelujah! You know why they only eat one egg for breakfast in France? Why? Because in France, one egg is enough. The First Lady's not a lesbian, is she? I don't know. I can ask her. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing up, which is how one speaks in opposition in a civilized world. Well, you go, girl. Did it really sound right to you when he said it? What'd you think? We go to war and Hercules rockets come flying out of the Rose Garden? The Eisenhower putting green. <laughs> oh, my God! I'm too stupid to live! Also, you've got twins in there. You're basically a minivan. How are you fitting into a seat? Uh-uh. I saw him first, girls. Elizabeth Lowell and the Women's Health Coalition. I beg your pardon, ma'am. And Amy Gardner, who's had seven jobs in three years. And as a special treat for our friend Josh Lyman, who's recovering very nicely at GW, the president's science advisor is telling us that psychics at Caltech and the Fermi National Accelerator Lab. You know what? I Do you have Donna? Uh, what? Do you have Donna? Have her? You oh, can throw me in a vat of custard with a chocolate-covered snorkel. It's gonna be you and me this weekend, baby, and you are wearing a floppy hat. Just do your job as a man and get that nice girl pregnant. I did. Wait, what? What? How do people die from a vending machine? Yeah, you know what? Sue me, I guess, because I love you. Place me under arrest, Kiki. Let's everybody do that. Let's everybody get a, a, a writ of injustice, lock me up, and throw the book. Tyler? Just a second, Mr. Lyman. You Josh, this was delivered by messenger. What is it? It's, wait, wait, no, damn, my x-ray vision is failing me today. Oh! You got yourself a Supreme Court nominee, Mr. President. This is huge. 
Which one of you is the man? On this one, we'd like to think of ourselves collectively as the men's. So, can I ask a guy in your job? Do you know missile codes and that sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the guys at GW did a fantastic job. It's a beautiful scar. Where have you seen my scar? At the hospital. I don't remember. You were unconscious. Oh, a call? Facts from last third age. Yes! A call? Oh, the guys were listening to me and they know me! Why is there hugging? Gather you rosebuds while you may, Josh. You know what that means? It means you should take this time to gather rosebuds, because later on you might not be able to. Interpreting the classics with poet laureate Donatella Moth. Yeah. Hold on, please. Dad, I'm sorry, but Sam asked me to have lunch with him, and I need your permission. Hang on. What do you need my permission to have lunch for? Sam? She says she always asks her father's permission before she has lunch with fascists. Oh, yeah, okay. Does somebody here have MS and they haven't said anything? Seriously, that's a, a pretty big snake. But I... What's going on, Leo? We changed times. We changed time zones? It's a uh, common mistake. Not for the U.S. government. What a schmuck ass system can this guy to bleep? That's good. That's perfect. Uh, how to, how to, I don't understand. How to, how to bust it? Just to break them. What, what, what? What the hell are you? <laughs> CJ, you fell into the pool there. I Squeeze this piece of rye bread. Now what do I do? Hey. No, I'm just saying, if you're interested in the male perspective. Always. I find it raises the level of the discussion. Yeah! Wow, are you stupid. Matt Perry, right there. Goodbye. Hector. Excuse me? Well, I've got a staff meeting to go to, and so do you. You elitist Harvard fascist missed the dean's list two semesters in a row, Yankee jackass. You owe me a half a million dollars and a drink. I pay for the drinks. All right, 500 grand. What are you holding? It's goldfish. Why? It's for you. Really? Josh said you like goldfish. Is standing. <laughs> Didn't realize babies come with hats. A few moments later. You want to send Helen out there? She just has to mention. We know he's late for the Times Tribune thing. We know! Joshua Lyman, you have the cutest little butt in professional politics. Kenny, really, that better have been her talking. If I see the real thing in Nashua, should I tell you about it? You won't have to. Why? You got a pretty bad poker face. Okay. Take it easy. Okay. So jail, huh? We have to start calling it a landslide tonight. They're talking about someone else. I'm told that we've got a picture we're going to throw up on the screen. Julia, I have to interrupt. I just have yeah. to say. OK. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I was going to go home. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I'm going to go back to your office with you. Make sure you understand the commerce report. You're about to get a call. Yeah. Big call. Yeah. Powerful guy. Yeah. I'm just saying, you probably rocked back from the meeting last week. A little. They threatened you with a legislative agenda. Yeah. They made you feel powerless, and you're a little off your game. Yeah. Little gun shy. Leave him alone. I'm bucking him up. Leave him alone. You asked me to buck him up. Now I'm telling you to leave him alone. Guys, I'm... I love her. I love her mind. I love her shoes. Please, oh, please, let them not be watching. Toby, come quick. Sam's getting his ass kicked by a girl. Should you get the popcorn? I'm beginning to regret.
regret not getting the waffles. I am beginning to regret having hired any of you. Oh my God, you're putting my mother's cats in the Supreme Court. We're making a serious point here. We're trying to turn public opinion, so no rough housing, no tearing down signs, no excessive flapping of the wings. Don't lie about what you do in there. Don't heckle. If you get the chance, you ask humbly and respectfully, are you too chicken to debate the full field? For its part. My value here is that I have no value. You have enormous value to me. You have no value to Eastern Europe. What do you mean? Call the authorities. Send them to my parents' house in Madison. Why? They'll find the Limburg baby in the basement. Okay. Also some post-its reminding me where I put Jimmy Hoffa. Get out! I framed Roger Rabbit. Get out! We have a problem. No kidding. It's not Josh. Praise God. Although I gotta say, telling a reporter his question is stupid. It's not like a page out of Dale Carnegie or anything. Thank you. What's the problem? You're not gonna like it. Believe me, Sam, the only thing that can make my day worse is if Roberta Mendoza got involved. Roberta Men Let me tell you something. The water pressure in here is really impressive. No, I'm very upset. I don't know the words to my national anthem. I've been throwing out Canadian pennies my whole life. I I've been making fun of the queen. Uh, we don't do that. Wait a minute. Didn't you give up your medical license? Yeah. What's going on? Sam feels we're zeroing in on it. You haven't found it yet? We've been navigating by the North Star, which turned out to be the Delta shuttle from LaGuardia. It's a miracle we're not in Nantucket right now. Frederick, you know, who was a slave, but later granted his freedom by Augustus, wrote his animal fables in iambic verse. Well, nothing says Christmas like animal fables in iambic verse. That's what I say. Dry rub's up! I love dry rub. They take the meat and... What's this? I don't know. It's more personal. You don't know who sent it? There's no return address. Think it's porn? I don't know. Because I'm pretty tired, but if it's porn, I mean, really good porn. By the way, if my innocent joking is making you uncomfortable in any way. No, I'm hoping it's porn. Anything else, Agent Sunshine? It's special, Agent Sunshine, but that couldn't matter less. I really think this isn't as bad as you're making it out to be. A secret plan to fight and fight on I can't act. I'm a terrible actor. You... Oh! oh! I'm holding the fish now. Hang on. Ladies, dads. We got Phoenix. Every Eddie's run all week. I want to screen him right away. Have you checked out the Pennsylvania numbers? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, it is. And you know what else is cool? I think you write that last part. In the car. Freak. I'm from Oregon. In Oregon, we like to see a man stand up and say he's sorry. Where are you from? Me? Yeah. I'm from the United States. I've sucked my... I wanted to say hello and to mention, you know, uh, a lot of people assumed you were hired because you were a blonde Republican sex kitten, and, well, they're obviously wrong. We should organize a staff field trip to Shenandoah. I could even act as the guide. What do you think? Go to places any to dump your body. What was that? Did I say that out loud? Loser! Well argued, though I do hate you and everything you stand for. Claudia Jean, you've only known me for four minutes. It usually takes people a better part of an hour to hate me and everything I stand for. I'm the press secretary, Boo Boo. I don't have that kind of time. What are you, like 410? Me? I'm 4'11. I can't believe we're the same species. You are an oratorical snob. Yes, I am, and God loves me for it. You want to mock people, or you want to let me talk to Toby? I want to mock people. And you, you big bear, come to me. I'm going to kiss you right on the mouth. Everything but? Yes. Ah. Yes. They want teachers to teach? Yes. And so the sticky wicket joke was? A regrettable pun. Hey, cool goat, when'd you get it? Professional comedian, LC. <laughs> ah! Give me that. This guy. That guy's the next leader of the free world. I won't have us ogling his dirty, you know. The hotel proprietor claims the bed was steel reinforced. Yeah? There is a town in Alabama. I could write a hundred speeches and we'd never come close to the sight of you up on that mound. Yeah, that's me, all powerful. Bending the will of the world by my mere presence. <laughs> We're 
eliminating genocide, what are you doing? Eliminating the penny? So I'll come back. So how long do you usually make people your bitch? Depends. Wait until the seek a service. Investigation's ongoing. I really can't comment. <laughs>